guys into my tribe, you know the vibe. If you're new to the channel, I appreciate you for tapping in. We're going to start with our deep breath like we do at the beginning of every video so we can align our body, mind, soul, and our energy, y'all. Let me sit up. All right, y'all ready? Let's get it. Praise to the most high. All right, y'all. So I got a message. I'll pop it up on the screen. It says, could you give advice on getting over a long-term relationship? And I said, yes, I will. All right, so look. So all the advice I'm about to give is what I would recommend. It's everything that I did. And um, and so if it worked for you, it worked for you. If it don't, it don't. Hopefully it do. So everything I say is not going to be in order. I'm going to just do the best I can to get to let y'all know everything that I did and everything that I do. Because as y'all know, I was in a 10 and a half year relationship, almost 11 years. So I'll let y'all know what I did. So look, first thing is give yourself time. Like... Allow yourself to feel whatever you want to feel. Allow yourself to feel wherever you need to feel, go and feel, whatever. Like, just allow yourself to feel whatever you need to feel. Like, if you got stuff you got to do every day, if you got responsibilities and kids you got to take care of, wake up in the morning or set time aside at night before you got to do anything or after you're done with everything and just give yourself time to just, like, feel everything that you need to feel that you've been feeling that you've been avoiding feeling that you that you want to feel just everything bro just feel so give yourself time to feel bro right um the second thing the second thing is this bro journal write everything write everything down bro like like y'all see this like bro just write everything down like everything everything you feel in every single day um write about different shit like have a journal just for your relationship that you're trying to get over right have a journal just for just for brain dumping and so this is my brain dump journal right here right and so what a brain dump is is like you know when you just thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking and you just got all these thoughts in your head and you just feel like you ain't got no clarity, bro? And something like meditation ain't helping or you feel like you you need help with your meditation and shit like that? Write. Just write, bro. Because when you write, you slow time down. And when you slow time down, it allows you to really get out what you need to get out and cleanse your mind. You get what I'm saying? Like, So just write, bro. Feel give yourself time feel everything you need to feel and write everything write everything you possibly can as much as you possibly can get a gratitude journal right so i got a gratitude journal get a gratitude journal and start thanking god whatever you whatever you praise whatever you believe in you feel me whether it's god the universe your ancestors whatever it don't matter just start thinking. Start thanking the universe. Start thanking God. Start thanking Allah. Start thanking your ancestors. Start thanking yourself. And and one of the biggest keys to healing and getting over a long-term relationship is being grateful for your relationship and being grateful for the person that you was in a relationship with. That's going to change everything, bro. I promise you it's going to change everything because then you start to because you start shifting your mindset right and when you shift your mindset it allows you to transcend certain thoughts that you used to have or that you felt like you couldn't escape in the past so thank that person right so like for me for example when i would write i would write all the stuff that i hated about this person all the stuff that made me mad as fuck about this person all the shit that that i felt like how they how they crossed me how they lied to me just everything right but then when i end my journal session and shit i always make sure i write at least a half a page or even a full page just being grateful bro right so just being grateful that i was in a relationship with that person being grateful that i learned everything that i learned being in a relationship with that person being grateful that um i gained wisdom and experience from that person whether it was good or bad right being grateful that 
Um, like for me, for example, I was in a relationship with somebody that wasn't an honest person, right? And so I started to be grateful that I was in that relationship with a person that's not honest because it allows me to now have, ex because it allows me to now have experience and wisdom, right? And with that experience and that wisdom, now I can read women better. You feel what I'm saying? Now I can now I can sense better whenever I'm being lied to or whenever somebody trying to manipulate me and shit like that. You feel me? So so be grateful for everything that you went through and everything that you grew through in that last relationship. Be grateful for that person. You feel me? And every day, here go another key, right? Every day, send love to that person. You ain't gotta. You ain't gotta do nothing. You ain't gotta write nothing. You ain't gotta. If you write it, it's, it's better. I feel like, but you ain't gotta do none of that. Send love to that person. Say, you know what I'm saying? Like for me, for example, I say I'm grateful for X, Y, and Z. Um, um, uh, I'm thankful that I experienced this with that person, and I send nothing but love and positivity to you. You feel what I'm saying? Um, that's gonna help you to focus. That's going to help you to shift your mind and, and shift your focus to gratitude. And when you're able to shift your mind and your focus to gratitude and focus on gratitude, the universe will bless you. God will bless you. Whatever you praise, whoever you praise will start to bless you with more and more things um, in order to get over your past relationship. And those things could be anything, whether it's new thoughts, whether it's a new opportunity, whether it's a new person, you feel what I'm saying? Don't even gotta be a new boyfriend or girlfriend. It could be a new a new friendship, you feel me? So, just be grateful, y'all. So, so far, give yourself time, write everything, be grateful, and then some things to focus on yourself. I would say start working out, get into the gym, um, run, run a lot. I feel like running really clear your mind, like heavy. So get into the gym, run, Start working on your flaws, shit that shit that you uh, start working on your insecurities. You feel me? Like shit that you were super insecure about in that relationship, um, stuff that you was insecure about just in general about yourself, whether you're in a relationship or not. Um, start focusing on your goals. Like write your goals down. Start focusing on that. Um, focus on loving yourself, bro. Like focus on on really taking your energy and turning it inward right shifting it inward because you were so used to because in that relationship you were so used to just giving and giving right you got to take that energy and turn it inward and keep giving but to yourself you feel me because now when you give into yourself not only are you learning how to continue giving past your hurt and through your hurt but you learning how to receive after your hurt and through that hurt you feel what i'm saying and when you're able to continue receiving that love you're able to continue giving that love and you're able to continue to to match with different people no matter what type of relationship it is whether it's romantic platonic it don't matter you feel me i feel like oh and don't ignore your feelings either bro like that's a that's a big one like people try to ignore their feelings and bury them shits ignore their emotions and bury them fuck no like when i used to when i broke up with my ex because i was the one that broke up with her right and i still had times where i would miss her you feel what i'm saying in the beginning don't ignore that shit if you miss her if you miss him if you miss her or if you miss him say that shit like not you ain't gotta say it like don't say it to them but like admit it to yourself accept it you feel what i'm saying don't try to deny that shit because let's be real it don't matter if y'all had 10 years of straight hell Something in you is going to miss that person, bro. It's just it's just natural, you feel me? But yeah, something in you is going to miss that person. Like, that's just natural. That's, that's human nature, you feel me? Because it's not even just about everything that y'all went through that was bad. It's about the fact that y'all energies are fucking bonded, you feel me? Like, y'all energies are connected, attached, and bonded, bro. Whether it's through a, a love bond or a trauma bond or any other bond, like, y'all are bonded. So, yeah, I feel like one of the biggest keys is keeping it real and just being real with yourself. Staying true to yourself with your emotions and with your feelings. Letting yourself know, like, what you really feel. Um, I think meditation is a good one. Meditation is big, like... You ain't gotta you ain't gotta do all these different types of meditations if you're new to it and shit like that. Just 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 sit down and do a guided meditation for ten minutes a day, fifteen minutes a day, like 
That's all you gotta do, bro. Especially if you're new to it. You feel me? Like, um, and then pray. Like I said, it don't matter who you. It, it don't matter who you worship, who you pray, or what you believe in, bro. Whether it's God, Allah, Jesus, Muhammad. I, it don't matter. The most high. It, like whether you're religious or spiritual, it don't matter, bro. Just pray. At the end of the day, bro, it's a higher entity out there somewhere. Just pray, bro. You feel me? Pray for, pray for forgiveness. Um, pray for, pray for joy. Pray for happiness. Um, and, and be grateful for all your emotions. Be grateful that you're mad. Be grateful that you're sad. Be grateful that you're angry. Be grateful that you're hurt. But also be grateful that you're happy. Be grateful that you're joyful. Be grateful. All, be, like be grateful for everything. Um. And then last but not least, bro, I feel like forgive yourself. Give yourself grace, give yourself space, give yourself time and forgive. Like for, forgive yourself, bro. Like at the end of the day, man, you could sit there and be mad and be angry and regret all this time you wasted and all this time you did this and all this time you did that and shit. But it's like, bro, Every single thing happens for a reason. I'm the type of person, I don't believe in coincidences. I think every single thing happens for a reason, no matter what. Um, and I, I feel like when you adopt that mindset, it helps you, right? Because you start to realize that nothing happens to you. Nothing in this world happens to you. Every single thing happens for you, bro. Like, everything happens for you, bro. And it's just up to you to figure out what the reason is and why shit is going the way it's gone. You feel me? Because at the end of the day, everything that plays out in your life is a reflection of your subconscious mind. So just so just be real with yourself. Know what you want. Know what you choose. And don't regret all of that time that you spent in that relationship. Be grateful because nothing was wasted. It was all lessons learned. It was all wisdom gained and experiences gained. And at the end of the day, bro, somewhere in that relationship, you was a little, you was at least a little bit happy. You feel me? I could say the same about myself. Somewhere in that relationship, you was a, you was at least a little bit happy. And so when you, when you able to really just be real with yourself through the healing process, I feel like it allows you to really get over that person. Like I can truly say that no matter what I'm going through right now, like y'all see what I'm going through right now, right? With, with my ex. But no matter what I'm going through, I can truly say outside of this specific situation, I am completely over that person. Like, and I'm so, and I'm so grateful because I know that I gave, I know that I gave that person and my healing journey, my absolute all, you feel me? So when you heal intentionally, it's going to be hard, but I promise you it's going to be worth it, my nigga. Like, there's no other feeling than just really loving yourself. Like, no other feeling better than really loving yourself and getting over a long-term relationship. So, so yeah, bro, that's that's all the shit that I, that's all the shit that I did. So shout out to Woke Up Cupid, man. Thank you for asking that question. I appreciate you. Hopefully this advice don't just help you and it help everybody else that's going through something. Um, and honestly, bro, even though this was relationship advice, it don't even just gotta be relationship advice, bro. You could apply this shit to, to damn near anything that hurt you in your life, yo. You could apply this video to anything that hurt you in your life. That's real shit. But other than that, man, if you enjoyed the vibe, make sure you subscribe and join the tribe. I love y'all, man. Thank y'all again for tapping in. Peace and love, y'all. Deuces.